One vote for both Netanyahu as Prime Minister and a full right-wing government without Gantz, so we can look after the soldiers, the police officers, the citizens and the situation in Israel. Clear instructions for the supporters of Itamar Ben Gvir, this extreme right-wing Israeli politician who became the golden boy of Israeli supremacists over the last few years. In the fifth general election in less than four years, he may be key to helping former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu return to the premiership. Born in the Jerusalem suburbs to Sephardic parents, his anti-Palestinian rhetoric was inspired by the extremist rabbi Meir Kahan. In his youth, Ben Gvir was charged with more than 50 times for incitement to violence or hate speech. Ben Gvir is the head of the religious Zionism bloc, which has gained clout over the recent weeks and could very well become the third place party in this election. The young love me so much and I say, if I'll become the minister of internal security, things will be good. There will be calm in the streets. A lawyer by profession, Itamar Ben Gvir is a controversial and polarizing figure who wants to deport some of the Arab Israeli population and supports the Israeli annexation of the occupied West Bank, home to 2.8 million Palestinians. The 46 year old lawmaker lives in one of the settlements in the occupied West Bank and is no stranger to provocation. He frequently appears at scenes of tension between the Palestinians and the Israelis, such as the Al Aqsa Mosque in East Jerusalem. There is not really a Palestinian people. Historically, we have always been living here. The Palestinian people is a recent term, a few decades old. There are Arabs who can live in peace and security here, and I have no problem with them. Should Netanyahu win the election, Ben Gvir has promised to support legislation that would alter the legal code, weaken the judiciary and could help the former prime minister evade a conviction.